Welcome to the new Sage Time Slips eCenter. Here we see the brand new login page. I'm selecting user login because I'm a returning user. In a later video, we'll take a look at the client login feature. At the top, it has my name, a link to the home page, which can set to be either the slip list or the timesheet, a link to the help videos, and the logout link. On the left here is the new navigation pane. First up is the slip list, which we see right now, a link to create a new time slip, new expense slip, Next up is the timesheet. Here we have reports. Now I can run one of any three reports, slip details, slips not complete, or for admins only, the timekeeper exceptions. Next is the timekeeper settings, where I can change things like to show nickname one or two, change my password, and a few other preferences. Here's the favorites where I can set my favorite clients, tasks, and expenses. It's similar to the My List feature of Sage Time Slips. And if I'm logged in as an administrator, I see administrator functions where I can see other user settings, set up the client access settings, and change company information. If I'm not logged in as the administrator, I'll see a link called Add Names where I can quickly add a client, a task, or an expense. Well, that's it for our overview. Thank you for joining me for this overview of the new Sage Time Slips eCenter.